August 16, Friday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. They said to him, Then, why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom what is granted. Some are capable of marriage because they were born so, some because they were made so by others, some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord Hardness of Heart The Jews do not take marriage lightly. They are not in favor of divorce because it is something that God hates. Here, the Pharisees test Jesus by drawing him into the controversial issue of divorce. They cite the teachings of Moses in an attempt to make him declare publicly that he rejects the law. But Jesus cites teaching that antedate even those of Moses, that husband and wife should not separate. Jesus points out that Moses allowed divorce, only to control the consequences of sinfulness, of sclerocardia, or hardness of heart. This refers to the willful refusal to listen to and obey the word of God. It was the attitude of the rebellious Israelites. They were constantly warned against it. The psalmist invites the people to be more faithful than were their ancestors. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Do not harden your heart.